Okay, by now you may have seen part one and part two of my Amiga video tutorials. Right now I'm going to be using a dummy folder method to quickly speed add several games for use on the NES and SNES Classic. So I'm going to go into today's core set, and this will be posted today. For uh, 4.21.18, I had a few other things I had to get together for the release. In the extras folder, in the Amiga folder, you're going to have this Amiga template. You're going to extract it. Now I'm going to have to name this to 421 since I finalized it today. So extract it. And I'm going to take the template that I need for my purpose. I have several templates here. And I'm going to be using uh, the original chipset for the dummy folder on the USB. So I'm going to copy that file. I'm going to go to my flash drive. Into uh, you have to have a hashi games dummy folder exactly like that. I've done dummy folder videos before, and then an Amiga folder just like this. And I created a backup folder that I'm just going to copy the template, and you'll see why in a moment here. So I have the template there, and then I'm going to reopen a flash drive. And this is for the dummy folder on the USB. I have several templates for many different purposes. And I have all the HDF files here. And say for instance I want to uh, take Deliverance HDF. What I'm going to do is simply copy and paste the name of Deliverance. On the backup file right here. I'll just name the UAE file that. And then I'm going to open that file with Notepad++. And I'm just going to put game name here. That's the only thing I need to change in this template. I tried to make these as absolutely simple as possible. Save. And then I'm going to copy and paste that to that directory right here. And if I want to have uh, hostages, I'll do the exact same thing. And I'm just going to reuse that template file over and over again. Unless I need to use it for another specific purpose. So I'm going to change the Deliverance one, which is the one I just used. And then edit that with Notepad++. And I do have this in the Extras Tools folder of my core set. Save. Then I'm going to copy that file in there. We'll do a couple more here. We'll do uh, Silent Service. You see, it's nice and easy once you have a template set up. Very nice and easy. Now, if you want to use the dummy folder on your NAND internal flash memory, you can watch my dummy folder for NAND video, and you just use the template for that purpose. Again, if you go into the release into that template folder that I just showed you in uh, Amiga. You would use the dummy NAND file and you just have to have the appropriate setup. I'm going to open this with Notepad. You would do the exact same thing. You just have to have the dummy folder and then create an Amiga folder and game name here. And uh, in the course set itself, the NAND dummy folder Dummy folder and and right here. You go into the etc folder, dummy, and just simply create an Amiga folder and you do the exact same thing that I just did with the games over here. Except you install this as an HMOD and then you'll basically click the barrel, etc. And then you'll have a dummy folder with Amiga right on your NES or SNES. So it works out real nice. So I'm going to boot up the system and we're going to test out a few of these games that I did a quick template for. And let's see how these run. So we're booting up now. And I had one game that was very, very specially requested so I'm going to be playing it in this video. It is also a childhood favorite movie of mine. I share the love with that movie. You'll see in a moment. But 
but I'll be getting this course set updated before I go to work today. You guys will, and gals will be able to enjoy your weekend with some new toys. But again, watch part one and part two of the Amiga tutorials, and then uh, once everything's set in stone and you know what you're doing, the templates are very, very easy to configure. You just have to worry about getting the HDF files properly, con you know, made. Which, the tool for that is in the Amiga folder as well. So we should be booted up in the moment here. I've been pulling my flash drive quite a few times without safely removing the hardware. Again, if you tend to just add games to it and yank it from the computer, every once in a while you're going to want to do a disk check on it. Otherwise, you may have longer boot times and games may load slower. That's usually a result of the disk drive having a little bit of corruption because of the integrity being uh, changed around due to the flash drive being yanked a little bit too often. But I'm getting a little uh, LED flashing repeatedly, which means I should be about to boot here. Thank you for your patience. And we should be getting the user interface here. I'm going to guess. Okay, here we go. And we're going to go directly into the dummy folder. And I do keep two flash drives. That way, while I'm checking one, I can boot right to the other. But uh, let's open up the RetroArch icon here. RetroArch icon. Again, this is in the... Extras Hashi folder. It is a uh, SNES Clover. So I'm gonna open this up, and then I'm gonna load a few of the games that I did templates for just now. Again, it takes just five seconds to do one of them after the fact. Oh, I'm gonna add a wallpaper real quick while I'm here. Why not? User interface, appearance, background, and I added the wallpaper H mod. Etc. Libretto, wallpapers. We'll add another retro cat one. See what we have here. <laughs> Some silly ones here. We'll just stick with the first one. Then I'm going to have to change the background opacity to zero. It is 0.300 if you want to go back to the standard PS3 style interface. But I have it at 1.000 right now. And then I can just resume and I'm good to go. Then I'm going to load core. I'm going to load the Amiga core. Make sure I even have it installed. I'll try loading content right now. Dummy. Amiga. And we'll try out Gremlins 2. One I did a template for. You have to load the UAE file, which is the configuration file. And we should be loading into Amiga. We have the load screen. We're good to go. Like I said, if you use the appropriate template, it is very, very easy. Because all you have to do is just name it for your own convenience. And then change the name of the game inside the file itself. Like I did. Game name here. And I'm going to do a performance boost on this core. Because it does have a little bit of a sound stutter. I'm going to do what I can to try to performance boost it. Like I did with some of the other cores. And I'm going to turn video integer off right now so I get a little bit of a larger screen. Again, you could go into video settings, integer, and change it on and off accordingly. But I leave it on because if you're working with the Bezo mode where you hold down L1 before you start a game, you could have the borders on for one single game. If you hold down R1 before a game, you'd have them globally on for all games. But I have it off right now so it'll be a larger screen. <laughs> And again, I lost my control, so I'm going to go into Quick Menu, Controls, toggle my controller real quick, resume, and then I have controls again. And I hear they're actually going to be making a Gremlins remake. That'd be really cool to see. I don't think they're going to mess it up. Especially if they have Howie Mandel reprise the role of Gizmo's voice. Yeah, I was kind of surprised when I heard that Howie Mandel did the original, uh, Sound effects for Gizmo. Let's see if I can actually get anywhere in this game here. I already died twice within a few seconds here. That classic theme. I'm not sure which composer did the theme to this. 
<laughs> pretty cool game. We're gonna check another one out here in a moment if I could see if I can actually get anywhere in this game here. Looks like I started out with quite a few lives, so. We got three lives left here. I played this a, a little bit ago and I didn't do as bad as I'm doing right now. We'll do the tried and true, uh, slow and steady through the wins the race here. I'm not gonna. Oh, of course, the cabinet takes me out. Very, very interesting game. I have to say I've never played this before, other than the recommendation of one of my YouTube buddies. Very, very cool. I mean, Sunsoft made a phenomenal Grumman's game on the NES, but this would have been awesome to have on the NES, a game just like this. So I'm definitely going to be playing Grumman's 2 some more. Now we're going to load content and go to the Start Directory dummy again. We'll try a couple more Amiga games here. I did a template for Deliverance. And again, do, do not load the HDF file. Load the UAE configuration file that you get from the template from the Amiga folder in, in the chord set. UAE. But so very nice to have this core off the ground. And uh, you guys and gals are going to be able to enjoy this all weekend. And some of these games I have not personally tested yet, they were recommended to me by friends of mine. A real good friend of mine in Switzerland recommended this one. And I'm not sure of what genre of game this is quite yet. But I'm going to do quick menu controls. Toggle it. Resume. Okay. Looks like something I would expect to be on the Sega Genesis here. And I may have lost my controls again. There we go. Very, very interesting. Kind of reminds me of like a Crusader of Senti. I think that's the game I'm thinking of. It is a Sega, whatever game I was thinking of, Sega Genesis, that is very similar to this. <laughs> Pretty interesting game here. Very, very cool. <laughs> I'm not even sure how to climb ladders yet. I gotta get used to this game, but uh, we'll try another one here. And I almost want to load Grumblings again and see if a little few second, uh, two minute break here would make me run a little bit better. But you get all the HDF files in a dummy folder, and they're very, very easy to work with. I'm going to look at which other ones I did UAE files for. Here we have Great Gianna Sisters, the game that was such a clone of Mario that Nintendo took offense to it and created a problem back in the day. But luckily, the game was able to have a revival on the Xbox system. Great Gianna Sisters. One of the best Mario clones you could imagine playing. Very, very cool. Okay, that works nicely. See if I, uh, I believe I did one other template here. Of course, I have Alien Breed on my uh, PS4. I have that collection. What else did I do a template for? You know what? I think I'm going to load uh, Gremlins one more time and see if I can get a little bit further since I sucked so horribly bad at it my first time playing this. Seems to be a definitely, definitely fun diversion for an Amiga game. And I'm really loving the incredible amount of licensed games that are on all of these computers, such as the CPC Amstrad, the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, and of course the Amiga now. And that classic theme never gets old. 
see if I can get more than two screens this time, since I failed so bad last time. Come on, I can beat Contra with less than three lives, but I'm losing it. Gremlins 2, the new batch for the Amiga. <laughs> Pretty bad. Guess it's just a little bit of trial and error here. I like that you can't just sit there and stay still or you're gonna end up getting taken out pretty quick. <laughs> pretty quick there. I'm definitely giving this a great rate, and I think this is an incredible game to check out. Very, very classic appeal here. Wow, I made it farther than before. Let's see if I can keep this up for another screen or two. Nope! I do like the challenge level here. It's either a challenging game or I just simply suck at this game. <laughs> but we have Grumblings too, and uh, we're good to go. We'll do one more here. I believe I did one more here. Hostages. That'll be our final test game here. We're loading good. And I'm not sure what type of genre this is either. This is another game that it was highly recommended to me. Looks awesome. Kind of reminds me of a specific Kemco game on the NES, if you know which game I am thinking about. Embassy Mission, I think that's what it was. Rescue Embassy Mission was the name called. This is so much like the NES game here. I'm going to have to load it now just for a second. Just uh, get my head straight here. I'm going to do load content. Start directory, dummy. I'm going to go to my NES folder. I swear that game is just like Rescue Embassy Mission. Made by Kemco, I believe, or published by it. So we'll go to the R's here, and I believe that's the name, to my recollection. Rescue the Embassy Mission. Load archive, and I'll do it with the Nintendo FCEUMM core, which I prefer. Wow, this looks very familiar to me. I don't think I've ever played this before. <laughs> so instead of Rescue the Embassy mission, it said Hostages. I knew I remembered this game. So that is incredibly awesome that they were able to get this game on the NES. This is a very, very fun game. So I definitely recommend checking out Hostages on the Amigo or Rescue Embassy Mission. But uh, we're going to do one more game here.